Hi, the transparent animated GIF you will learn to create today looks like this. Isn't that beautiful? If you want a variation, you can have this. The best part is, I took these icons right from inside PowerPoint and I'll show you how to create your own transparent animated GIF like this from scratch. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Now, the point of this video is not to show how to create the animation that I just showed you. I want you to follow the underlying idea so you can come up with your own ways of creating these transparent animated GIFs. For this demonstration, these are the assets I'm going to use. These icons I got from PowerPoint and this is nothing but a rectangular box where I wrote the word subscribe. Now let us jump right in to create the animation. The first thing I'm going to do is to keep this subscribe right in the center. Then let us create the first animation where the hand waves to draw the viewer's attention. Now for that, let me move this here and I'm going to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. And then let us invert this by going to graphics format, rotate and then say flip vertical. And I'm going to place this right below the earlier one and I'm going to give this no fill. Now let us select both of these and press Ctrl G to create a group. Now why did I create a group with this ghost shape? It's very simple. If I were to just use the shape alone, then the central axis is right somewhere here. And if I move it, you can see that it rotates around that central point and the movement doesn't really look very natural. Whereas in this case, since I created a ghost shape and grouped it, now take a look at how the movement happens. Here it is far more natural because the center of this shape is right here. So it pivots around this point whereas this shape pivots around this point and therefore this is far more natural. Now let us move this group somewhere over here. Right click and send it to back. To this, I'm going to apply certain animations. First, let us select this group and then let us have it appear on the scene with a simple appear animation. Right after appear, we are going to have this spin. So let us add animation and say spin animation and we need to have the duration to be 0.25 seconds and hit enter and this happens after previous let us open the animation event by going to effect options let me click on this auto reverse option and i'm going to have this move by 15 degrees and i'm going to hit enter and say okay but before you say okay let us repeat it a few times so let us have this repeat to three times and say okay so here this is the animation that happens so it appears and then goes clockwise by 15 degrees and reverses back to its original position and it does that three times and we do that in a duration of 0.25 seconds so that is what we have seen here and right after that we are going to have this disappear so let us add animation and say disappear this happens after previous all right so there are three animations appears waves and disappears now let us make a copy of this by pressing ctrl d and then have this placed somewhere over here you can always flip it horizontally by selecting this and going to graphics format rotate and say flip horizontal now this looks more natural and let us send this back now we need to adjust the animation events timing we want both the hands to appear at the same time. So I'm going to move this up here and keep it right next to the previous one and say with previous. And right after that, this wave motion needs to happen together. So I'm going to move this up and say with previous. And after that, they both disappear. So when I go to slideshow, appear, wave, and then disappear. Excellent. Now we have got our first animation in place. Now let us have the second animation where I want this hand to point to the action they need to take, which is subscribe. So I have selected this 
and then let us make a copy of this by pressing ctrl d and let us keep this to this side and let us flip it horizontally by going to graphics format rotate and by using flip horizontal option now i want these two to appear together and which happens right after the previous animation is over so let me say appear and these appear right after the previous one and then we need to have this moving inside and going back and do that four times so let us select this add animation and i'm going to use a simple lines animation and this needs to happen to the right and you can see that it has really gone to the right let us bring this forward by going to bring to front option and this is the end point of it i'm going to move it so that it goes somewhere around here and then it needs to revert back so let us select this animation event once again like the way that we did earlier it needs to happen for 0.25 seconds and this happens after previous and let us go here go to effect options and say auto reverse like the way that we did earlier and let us go to timing and say this needs to repeat four times and say okay so that is how it happens now right after this animation this one disappears from the scene so let us go to add animation and say disappear and this happens after previous we need to do the same thing for this one as well this has entered the scene with appear now it needs to move from this point to this so let us add animation go to motion paths and say to the left and like we did earlier we need to have the end point moved ever so slightly like that we need to change the duration to 0.25 seconds hit enter and this needs to happen right after previous and let us do whatever that we did earlier which is auto reverse and then timing and then it needs to repeat four times and we say okay so this is the animation event so right after the enter this happens with previous so they enter and then they have this movement happening and right after that this needs to disappear so add animation and disappear and this happens after previous so we have two of the animations done both of the cases they appear they do their thing and they disappear now let us have the final one let us bring this forward and let us say bring to front and this moves up so that is exactly the same thing that we did like this one while this one moves to the right this one moves to up so let us try and see if we can copy the animation from this so let us select this go to animation painter and then apply the same animation to this now this moves to the right let us select this end point and then move it up like so let us move that a little more like so that is good enough now what we have got here is this appears and then goes up and it does the reversal and then it goes outside so exactly what we want let us make a copy of this and then let us flip this horizontally and then place it over here once again let us do a small change to the order of uh, these animations you can see that this is the appear animation so both of these appear need to happen together and both of these movements need to happen together so we have with previous now actually i don't want these two hands to disappear so i'm going to have these two removed the exit animation removed let us go to slideshow and on a click appear wave disappear appear and then movement disappear appear and then going up and disappear so that is the animation now the best part about this is once you have this animation done you can save this as a transparent gif and that is where the whole effort gets saved now let us go to file go to export and say create animated gif and let us say make background transparent and then you say create gif you can always choose the quality if you want it to be large you can do so and you say create gif let us go to desktop and say this is subscribe animation gif so that is what is the name that i've given to this let us say save you can see that in a few seconds it gets done now we have got that asset on our desktop now wherever i want i can click and have this animation happen and that is right inside powerpoint now let me show you how to take the same animated gif and add it to a video inside Camtasia. 
Now here I am in Camtasia. I've got two assets. One is the video and inside that video I want to have this sticker placed. So it urges the audience to subscribe to this video. So first let us place this video onto the scene and the way the video plays is like this. And as you can see, we have a clean space available for us to add our subscribe animated GIF. So let me add this over here and I'm going to move this somewhere around this. And if required, we can even have a behavior for this one. Let us say pop behavior and say during is none. And let us see how this whole thing plays on a click. You can see that subscribe animation comes and then the hand comes and it urges people to give it a like. If I want this to be repeated, I can always make multiple copies of this by saying copy and then let us press Ctrl V to paste it and we can do that once more and paste it over here. Now when I play this, you can see that this animation comes in and we have the subscription being asked for so this is a very interesting way to add the subscribe button to your existing videos by the way if you are interested in using powerpoint animation to make your presentations more engaging and interesting then i highly recommend that you take a look at our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle version 2.0 this is a collection of more than 4200 premium animated templates that are available for you to use with one-time payment I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and check out more details about our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. And in the meantime, if you want to improve your PowerPoint animation skills, we have put together a short playlist of videos which you can click here and watch and improve your PowerPoint animation skills. So go ahead, click on the link and start watching these videos right now.